Why am I wearing this silly headband? Because I'm awesome. Last weekend, David and I participated in Tough Mudder, Colorado. That thing was tough. No kidding. Those of you that don't know what Tough Mudder is, it's an obstacle course or an about nine mile obstacle course with about 28 obstacles designed by British Special Forces to test your strength, stamina, mental grit, and camaraderie. Good job. Oh. You didn't run fast enough. Good job. Good job. Good job. According to their website, the toughest event on the planet. Let me tell you, it was indeed tough, but it was a lot of fun. The hardest part about Tough Mudder for me was going through the cold water. At the beginning when they're pumping everybody up and they're saying, yeah, we're gonna do this, this is gonna be awesome. They tell you, oh, by the way, the water is going to be a beautiful 35 degrees. And at that moment in time, your brain does not process what 35 degrees feels like. You think, oh, well, it should be refreshingly cool. Well, that, that's, that sounds nice, actually. It's a hot day. But then when you forge through water, that's 35 degrees, and goes up to here because I'm short, mind you, it doesn't mean refreshingly cool. It means <laughs> hyperventilation. The worst part about crossing this cold river was that under there were these huge boulders that you could not see. You did not realize those boulders were there until you scraped your shins repeatedly against them, which ended up getting David four stitches, by the way. Yeah. Good. <laughs> good guy. The one obstacle that I could not complete, the, and some people would say, well, can you really call yourself a tough mudder if you didn't complete all the obstacles? To which I say, I at least attempted it. I did was going under the barrels. This? This? Me? No. 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 You're supposed to bob under the barrels and there's about three set up and then swim to the end. And I made it under one and after that I could not take a breath deep enough to continue the rest of them. And I just, I felt I felt like I was going to drown. I think that was the first time that I actually felt like I was going to possibly die. Well, not die, but just not make it. The good thing was that David was there waiting for me with a nice warm foil blanket to warm me back up. The water was insanely cold. Funny enough, I guess there's the Chernobyl bath, one of the obstacles where you get into these huge dumpsters filled with colored water and they keep dumping ice inside of them so it's really cold. There's a bar at the top that you have to go under, kind of like going under the barrels but in a dumpster. Does that make sense? Anyways, that was warmer than the cold river water, believe it or not. They're constantly dumping these huge, you know, 10, 20 pound bags of ice in it every few minutes and that was not nearly as cold as the mountain water. To match the completely icy cold water were the incredibly steep hills mountainsides that you have to climb and I don't care how much hill work you did beforehand it's not going to completely prepare you for the intensity of these uphills they're just they were just nuts and I'm pretty sure about 60 to 70 percent of the course was all uphill if the cold water didn't beat the crap out of you, then the uphills definitely did. At least that's how it was in my case, but I could possibly just be incredibly out of shape. It's probably true. This is the type of thing that I would definitely recommend to everybody. Just you get a team of you and your friends, you get to play in the mud. Okay, play in the mud. You get to run around and get on slippery, slippery monkey bars and fall into icy cold water and just have a great time. Definitely something that 
anybody should do at least once in their lifetime.